Now we have five movies on my list of movies I seen in 2021. Actually, I think we're missing a movie here. Hold on. Apparently, Quiet Place Part 2 did not release in 2021, even though it did. So, we'll be counting that movie as well. So, top six movies. Okay, My 3D World does not count. That's a game. I have seen in 2021. Like, actual movies that came out in 2021. Oh, the next movie I have not I have gained is the Justice League, the new one. I could have that movie comes out, but I'll probably do an updated one in September. Once I've seen the Boss Baby 2, old, you know, at, at, whenever that comes, no, Boss Baby 2, Black Widow, and Snacks there. So this week, of course, will be on that list. But at number six is the Hitman Slice Bodyguard. Not too surprised at this. I just did a review on it. The movie sucks. It is the worst movie of the year. Of 2021, excluding movies that I have seen that are complete garbage. For example, Finding Jesus. Okay. But other than that, this is the worst movie of the year. Already. It is already the worst movie of the year. It is actually the worst rated movie of the year tied on the IMDb average with Mortal Kombat. But Mortal Kombat actually was a good movie. This was not a good movie. Hitman Slice by God was not funny not that funny, not that engaging. It just feels felt like it didn't, the first one was pretty good. It felt funny. It felt great. It felt like a pretty fun Wild Wild movie. But this felt like why, why? Maybe Free Guy might be better, but this movie worst movie to you. Yep. Coming in at number five is the Tomorrow War. I keep forgetting I seen this movie, but it's a pretty good movie. I know some people really love this movie, but I'm, I am i think it's a good movie. I thought it was a good movie. If it ever comes on Blu-ray, I'll probably see it again. But it was like the Terminator. It was like Alien. And it was like that stuff. But I didn't grow up in the 90s and 80s, so I can't appreciate this movie. Because I didn't grow up in that era of movies. But it was still a pretty fun movie. Coming at number four, we have Mortal Kombat. Yep, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was a pretty fun movie. It's... You know, if you like the Mortal Kombat games, this is definitely much better than the 1995 movie. Again, I didn't grow up in the 90s, so I can't appreciate the original 1995 movie. But Mortal Kombat 2021 was pretty great. It has all the feelings of, more, of, a more com of Mortal Kombat. And it has an update of the modern day CGI. And without all the cheesiness, it's a much more serious movie. Which is why I like about this one instead of the old one. Well, the old one is another cheesy 90s movie. This is actually a big, serious, big boy movie. So, yep. Coming at number three is A Quiet Place Part 2. It is, at, if for something that's not on this list here, but it is a movie that came out in 2021. It is a pretty good movie. It's basically more of the same, but no one's complaining. They also added water to the War of the Quiet Place series, where the monsters came from, from... The, one, the weakness, which they have another weakness in this movie, which basically means Australia is safe. So, you can just live in Australia. I don't know why I didn't use the plan in the first movie, but yeah, pretty good movie overall. Pretty good. They expanded the Quiet Place universe and war a lot more. Coming at number two is Nobody. Nobody, I like the movie a lot. It is basically like John Wick. Wick, you know, but. You know, those John Wick ripoffs, you know, movies like, you know, Atomic Bond. You know, all the times they tried to make a female John Wick and they failed. Well, it, well, the writer of John Wick made his own, made a new one called Nobody. And it's getting a sequel. I can't wait to see the sequel. I won't be surprised if this movie grows more as, of course, I watch it more. You know, Nobody's a pretty good movie. Action scenes are pretty good. Characters are pretty good. And overallness of this movie is pretty good. Number one. Godzilla vs. Kong. I like this movie. Okay, this is basically, I think, the perfect Godzilla movie. Godzilla, it, be, it barely beats King. It is basically better than King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters is already a pretty amazing Godzilla movie. I've seen that movie a lot already. But this is basically the perfect Godzilla movie. You have Godzilla for, and King Kong. You have... The storyline, I think, bits much better. You have more fight scenes. You have Mecha Godzilla in the movie. Yep, spoilers for the people who have not seen it. Mecha Godzilla is in the movie, and they have to end Godzilla and Kong have to team up at the very, very end. Well, uh, and they have to make God and God and King Kong has to get, he get healed while Mecha Godzilla basically kicks Godzilla's ass until King Kong helps Godzilla uh, 
fight back at Godzilla. And at the end, they basically, you know, agree that King Kong goes down in the God in the middle Hollow Earth and Godzilla is the war of the non Hollow Earth. Basically the oceans. So yep. And also a lot of the fight scenes are pretty good. A lot of the storyline is pretty good with the King Kong storyline where he's really from. And yep. That's basically about King Godzilla vs. Kong. And yep, that's my list of the movies. And yeah, this list is seem to will probably update next month. So yep, that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.